going on everybody today i'm gonna be installing this catch can onto my 2006 g35 what's up everybody thank y'all for stopping by my channel ktv built if y'all haven't already go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button down below i appreciate that so today i'm gonna be actually like you've seen before i'm gonna be installing this catch can so i actually got this catch can from a friend for free he gave it to me so that's super clutch i don't know what kind of catch can it is um but i mean it's a closed catch can but it's not vented but I'm gonna be going to the auto parts store today to get some uh, some fuel line for it so I could hook it up uh, with these you know g35s and 350s some of them have some oil consumption issues so I want to you know open up my plenum today and see if there's any oil and clean it all out and then install the catch can to see if it makes it any better um, I'm gonna test out this catch can, you know, maybe for a couple thousand miles and see how it works. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna upgrade to a different one, maybe like a Mishimoto or there's one, I think it's like ADDW1, something like that. So I'm gonna be checking that one out if this one doesn't work, but hopefully this one works and we'll see how it goes from there. So I got the little hose clamps and I also got the hose. It's uh for me it's gonna be a 3/8 on the inside. So this is one of the fittings from the catch can that just goes in there and then I'll have it for the return side as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna head home now and and get this installed. First though, I do wanna take apart the plenum and just see how bad it is and clean it out. But let's go. So I got this three eighths line the catch can with the fittings and I got these little clamps to clamp it on to the end so for the catch can I got to remove this line right here disconnected here and then down there is the PCV valve so this is just one piece and then I'll run it the catch can somewhere right here and have the two lines, one going to the PCV valve, one going to the plenum. Um, the only issue I'm having right now is just thinking of a way to mount this. Uh, I've seen other ones where this bracket right here, there's another bracket, but then I don't really have room to clear this right here. So I'm thinking it's gonna have to be by the power steering reservoir. Eventually I wanna get um, a coolant reservoir. So this would save up a lot of space right here. Uh, I know Chase Bays has that really nice one, but we'll see um, what I could come up with. I might have to do like a little bracket over to the side, but we'll see. So that's pretty easy. Just. Y'all can see this side comes off and then. So I got the old line off and kind of sucks cause these are upgraded, these are pretty good. And a buddy of mine told me these fail pretty often in the VQs, but I'll just save it in case I ever want to go back to, um, you know, back to without the catch can. So I got it pretty much hooked up. Got the two lines here up to the catch can. The one thing I do got to figure out, I got to look it up real quick, is which one goes to the PCV and which one goes to the plenum or does it really matter? And the, I believe that this one closer goes to the plenum, but I'm not really sure. And then also I still got to figure out a place to mount this thing. I think it looks 
pretty good right here i just need to come up with some kind of bracket or something there's these two little threads in the back where i could uh get a bracket but i have to run to home depot or something and and see what i could come up with but for now i'm not happy with it also i might just uh run this line under this wiring harness right here uh yeah i'm i'm probably gonna swap that out. i'll just run it under the wiring harness all right, so for right now, it's sitting like that. <clears throat> I just have it zip tied, but I need to run to Home Depot and, and get like a bracket or something because that's not gonna be good for the kind of driving that I wanna do. But for right now, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm just gonna clean everything up and head to Home Depot or, or Lowe's or whatever and see what I could get. All right, so I turned on the car just to test it, just to see if I'm gonna have like any kind of weird uh, vacuum leaks or anything. I don't hear anything so far. I'm gonna drive it uh, to Home Depot so I could, you know, test it on the way as well. So guys, I actually had a little bit less time than I previously thought, and I wanted to get the plenum spacer, I mean the plenum removed and get everything cleaned out and i also wanted to go to home depot to make the bracket but i actually have to do something today in a little bit i have to meet up with my family so i'm actually not going to get the chance to do that but i will save that for another video but as you can see it's working well i've been driving the car Let's see if i uh... pulling nice working good so I have no complaints I just got to get this bolted down properly and and working I was worried you know maybe have some vacuum issues or whatever but the car is running strong and and I have no complaints right now but yeah guys thank y'all so much for checking out the video and please 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 do me a favor and hit that like button if it was helpful to you or you enjoyed it and also hit that subscribe button we just made it to 300 and I'm trying to get to that thousand next. I appreciate y'all so much and thank y'all for watching. A bottle, then we skip to the bank. Why would I get older? I've been stoned like Boulder, I've been going like solar. Never been cloned, goner. It's gonna cost a wager. Uh, make yourself some paper. I was in the money. Uh,